They were a very exclusive club, 6,000. And their main purpose was the law, their dedication to the law, which meant the first five books of the Bible, sometimes referred to as the Pentateuch, penta meaning five in Greek, the first five books of the Bible. That was their law and order dedicated to it. But of course, the law, they were all very wide principles, very general principles. And so they had to be interpreted. So they were interpreted by the scribes or the lawyers, I presume. And uh, for example, you have to keep the Sabbath day law. That was the principle. But how do you do that? How do you keep the Sabbath day holy and so on? So they would interpret that. You could walk such a distance. You could work so much and so on and so on. So that's how they interpreted the law. That so that they ended up with something like 613 prescriptions of the law. So it covered every single aspect of their lives. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It covered every aspect of their daily lives. So you could imagine what a challenge that was. Now also, Nicodemus was a member of the Sanhedrin. And the Sanhedrin could be compared to our Supreme Court. Very important position. And so now he comes to Jesus, and notice that he comes to Jesus at night time. Why? Well, I would guess because he was scared of being embarrassed if it was found out that he had met with Jesus, perhaps in danger of being expelled from the Supreme Court. But anyway, he comes to Jesus, and he's obviously interested in Jesus and what he has to say. And Jesus begins to tell him, you know, you have to be born again. And of course, he totally misunderstands that. He doesn't understand, at least physically, how you can be born again. And Jesus goes on to explain to him, it is a matter of spirit and water. To be born again, in other words, you must be baptized. That's the essential ingredient. And it is very important because we cannot receive any sacrament without first being baptized. That's how important it is. And now just thinking, I think on Pentecost Sunday, Peter, 3,000 new members joined the church on one day, 3,000. Well, my question would be to Peter, how did you baptize them? I think it would take him 24 hours to baptize 3,000 persons, but he did it. Anyway, it points out how important baptism is, and it is very important. And sometimes uh, we never reflect upon how important baptism, that we, we could never receive the Eucharist if we hadn't been baptized or any other sacrament. Indeed, as a matter of fact, when somebody gets married, whether it's here, or Ireland, or Mexico City, notification immediately of that marriage is sent back to the church where we are baptized. And in the baptismal register, it will say, such and such a person was married on such and such a date in such and such a church in the United States, Ireland, or Japan. That's how important the sacrament of baptism is. And so we should, this morning's Mass, we could express our gratitude to Almighty God for the very fact that we were received into the church, we were baptized, whether it was through the influence of our parents, or grandparents, our friends, this happens sometimes too.